Hey, what's going on guys? Dope Swarner here, finally bringing you that major update on my 3D printer. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around, um, connect Repetti or Host to this, and just kind of show you guys what exactly I have got going on, um, because I have not updated you guys in a long time. Hopefully uh, I'm in focus, but I have made a ton of progress on my 3D printer that I am excited about, so I'm gonna share it with you guys. First and foremost, again, everything is messy right now. Definitely, my wallet is my 3D printer. <laughs> Definitely my, my focus right now has not been on cleanliness. It's just to get this thing to work. Then once it is working, I will go ahead and basically uh, do cable management and clean up everything as much as possible. So we have got the ramps board connected to the Arduino mega board down below. Um, it is like a clone um, Arduino board. It's not like an official from Arduino, but it works absolutely fine. Um, inside the 3D printer, we have got the aftermarket um, uh, Pico hot end installed, finally installed correctly. Um, the only issues I'm having right now is with clogging on the nozzle, um, or not the nozzle, but the actual extruder itself is clogging, but I don't have any ABS and I am only printing with PLA right now, and I don't have a fan mounted to it, so I'm thinking that's the reason why the PLA is getting stuck inside of the extruder, so um, my only thing is the way I mounted the extruder, um, I can't actually mount the fan, let me see if I can find the fan, um, I know I have it somewhere, yeah, right here, so this is the fan mechanism that I had printed a long time ago for this, and it was able to just like pop onto the vents of the extruder, but for whatever reasoning, the way I installed it, it's lower, so I can't get this to plug in. So um, one of two things are basically my options. One, I get this thing printing with ABS, and once I print it out with ABS, I design something that will allow me to mount a fan to blow onto the extruder. Um, that is my first option. Or two, my second option is if I kind of want to get a rig, um, this, I can get this somehow mounted on there and printing with PLA, because PLA, again, is pr all I was printing with before, and that's all I have left over in my stock right now. So again, everything is just kind of held together. I've literally got a zip tie holding the um, uh, this board right here on top that basically connects to the extruder and the fan, which I don't have hooked up right now. Um, I've got my mechanical end stops. Uh, we've got one back here, so when I click it, let me see, where are you? Right there. You see it lighting up? Got one there. Um, my my z-axis is super ghetto. Um, I basically had to use some leftover plastic that I just kind of put in place to get it at the right level. I have to build some kind of a aftermarket, um, not aftermarket. I have, to, I have to print out and design something once I have it all set up and running. But you've got the end stop right there, and then the last end stop is right over here. So there is that one. So let me go ahead and uh, link up my um, Repetio Host software to it. Okay, so as you can see, I actually don't have the bed hooked up right now. That is something I need to still do. But um, if you look down below, if I can get to focus, you can see the extruder temperature right there. Um, and if I go ahead and click home on all of the different axes, it will oops, move that out of the way. Go ahead and home. So I got it. All of the motors working beautifully, which is awesome. The extruder motor is also working well. Um, and again, I can also, if I turn on the extruder right now, power it on, I have got heat to the extruder again, which is awesome. So let me focus in. So you can see the temperature climbing on it, 28.7, 31.4, and it will climb as high as I need it to. So basically, um, I need to get the heat, or the hotbed hooked up, and then just kind of get the extruder dialed in. But we are making huge progress, the beast is alive, and I was actually able to get it to test print a little bit of stuff before the nozzle clogged. Um, so that is basically it. So hopefully you guys are excited. Once it is all up and running, um, I will obviously do a more detailed video, but this is just an update because it has been a very long time since I said I would update. And the reason again why I didn't is because everything was going terribly wrong, but now things are looking a lot better. So fingers crossed everything stays well. Thank you everyone. I've had a lot of people comment in my videos. Um, helping me out with their ideas and things they might that I might want to check into. Um, so thank you all for that. And again, I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Dope Swarner, and I'm out. Peace, guys.